We just have to take this moment on Halloween to remember the Halloween blizzard of 1991. Twin Cities got more than 28 inches in some areas. And uh, of course, we're nowhere near that today. That's the good news. But kids are still going to have to be bundled up if they are heading out trick or treating tonight. Oh, they've got to do it. Kelsey Christensen joins us live where it is warm right now in Bloomington with a look at how families are switching up their plans for tonight, Kelsey. Hey guys, yeah, it looks a whole lot more like Christmas than Halloween. I was outside all morning. I got to tell you, it feels so good to be inside now, meaning that you might want to switch your plants indoors if you're going out tonight. Take a look uh, right now. That's what a lot of folks are doing already. This is uh, Toddler Day out here. Toddler Tuesdays at the Mall of America right now. They are trick-or-treating early on their uh, treat trail. And then a little bit later today, the mall is having what they're calling Malloween. That will start at 4 o'clock this evening until supplies last. They're going to be giving out a lot of treat bags in the rotunda here. Then you can find these Dia de los Muertos giant puppets set up in the atrium. And don't forget that big giant pumpkin at 996 pounds. I would expect a lot of people tonight simply because we're inside in 72 degrees. As long as you can brush off your car and join us, we were, we are ready for guests tonight. The treat bags are fantastic this year. Personally, I've sampled a couple just to make sure that the quality is there, but I'm really excited about the bags we have for guests this year. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you got to sample it. Uh, but if you're heading outdoors tonight, be sure to layer up, you know, the drill under whatever costume you're planning on wearing. In fact, it might not be a bad idea to dress up and do a little test walk around the neighborhood to make sure that you're going to be warm enough for the time that you're going to be out tonight. And with this cold, some people might have bonfires going. So keep an eye out for any dangling costume pieces that could easily catch on fire. Look out for cars, especially if you're wearing a mask that can block your view. Uh, put on one of those reflective tags as well. And if you're driving, here's a big one. Please make sure to keep an eye out for trick-or-treaters tonight when it gets dark. We know that's happening uh, earlier and earlier these days. But if you're heading inside here, it's not just at MOA. There are other Halloween events around town, such as Southdale and the uh, outlets at Albertville Mall. All right, we'll send it back to you guys as these guys uh, wave back to you. They're excited for Halloween. All right, I think we, we all are. Easy, yeah. Kelsey Christensen reporting. Thank you.